Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to electrical machines and uh, in the previous video we discussed some basic concepts related to magnetic field. We discussed uh, about magnetic flux, magnetic flux density and about the magnetic force exerted by a magnetic field on a charge moving with a certain velocity. So in this video we are going to take our discussion forward and we'll discuss about an important law which is uh, used to determine the magnetic flux density, the strength of the magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor at any point away from it at a certain distance. So it is called as biot savart law. Okay, so the reason why I am discussing all these things is that in our discussion related to electrical machines, these things, these laws will come up, the mathematical expressions will come up. So at that time, I ha don't have to explain it from scratch. I will simply refer you to these videos so that you can watch these videos and then go to that specific topic and have a clear-cut understanding about the uh, principle of operation of all those uh, uh, electrical machines. So the whole uh, thing related to uh, the operation of electrical machines is based on the phenomena of electromagnetism, the magnetic effects of electric current and it was all based on an important but accidental discovery which was based on an experiment performed by Oersted which is uh, basically when he passed current through a wire and when he experimented by placing a compass below the wire the compass showed deflection and the deflection uh, was different in different directions when the direction of the current was changed. So this confirmed the existence of the phenomena of electromagnetism which opened new doors uh, and more, more and more research was conducted and the whole you know, field of electrical machines, the foundation is laid on this one simple but accidental discovery. So we have already covered about magnetic flux density which gives us the strength of the magnetic field. It is represented by the symbol B. It has unit of Tesla or Weber per meter square. And we have also dis discussed about magnetic flux, which is the number of magnetic field lines passing through a surface area. And it is given by the dot product of the magnetic field intensity, magnetic flux, de flux density vector, and the area vector, which is normal to the surface area. So it is given by BA cos theta. So the biot savart law, what it basically does is that it is used to determine this value B, magnetic flux density, the strength of the magnetic field in any current carrying conductor at any point away from it, located at a certain distance. So here we have taken a certain conductor okay a current carrying wire let's say xy a current i is flowing through it okay current i is flowing through it and here we have to determine let's say the magnetic flux density at this point p now we cannot uh, take the whole wire at a time and find out the magnetic flux density there. No, it, it cannot be done like that. So what we have to do is that we have to pick a small length, a very small length DL and then the current element associated with it, IDL, okay? The current element IDL associated with it, depending on that, we will find the small magnetic flux density dv vector at that point p and then we will sum it together and we'll get the total flux magnetic flux density 
So here we have picked a small portion, a small portion of the conductor length dl. The current element associated with it is a product of the current i and the small length dl. We have to find the magnetic flux density db at point p at a distance r from this portion dl. Now this vector here is the dl vector directed like this tangent to this surface like this and that makes an angle theta with respect to the position vector of p okay the position vector p so according to biot sevart law the small portion of the magnetic flux density db vector because of the small portion length dl and the current flowing through it the current element idl is given as this db is equal to k idl sin theta by r square so when we integrate it over the whole length we will get the total magnetic flux density okay so this is the whole thing of biot savart law very simple so here each current element so the whole total wire xy can be divided into small such current elements okay like this here we have idl here also small portion of the length dl small portion length dl small portion length dl like that will totally cover the whole wire xy and when we pick a certain portion dl we will draw a tangent there to find the length vector the dl vector and find out what angle that makes with this point p with respect to the position vector r so like that we will find out the small portion of the magnetic flux density db at that point which will follow the same rule k ideal sin theta by r square so here capital k is mu zero by four pi where mu zero is the absolute permeability so this is in scalar form in vector form it can be represented as this which is db vector mu zero by four pi i dl vector cross r vector by r cube so here this numerator is the cross product or vector product of the length vector the dl vector and the position vector r like this okay so this is the magnetic flux density and as a result the db vector okay the db vector the magnetic flux density vector will be perpendicular so here uh, the dv vector the magnetic flux density that is perpendicular to the plane containing r vector and the current element dl vector okay so dv vector is perpendicular while the current element the dl small length dl vector and the position vector r vector from that particular point and the specific current element which makes an angle theta okay here they make an angle theta and as this expression is in the form of cross product of dl vector and r vector db vector is perpendicular to the plane containing dl vector and r vector so this is biot savart law which gives us the expression of the magnetic flux density in a current carrying wire a current carrying conductor so the whole principle involves splitting the whole wire into small current elements ideal 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 like that then summing them together each current element contributes some portion of the magnetic flux density db vector total magnetic flux density is the integration of db which is the summation of the effects of small such current elements from x to y okay so this is biot savart law which 
is very important in our discussion related to electrical machines. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.